What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video here for you guys on the channel. So in between this video and the last video, I actually did a little bit of grinding here in the Glowing Sea. And uh, I leveled up a couple times to, to level up the pickpocketing thing. Because I want to pickpocket Virgil. And uh, I'll show you why here in a second. But he's got something in his inventory that I really want just, just to have. You know, no real reason behind it. I just kind of want it. Uh, so there's that. Uh, also, we're going to be continuing on with the main storyline, of course. We're getting very close to the discovery of a specific faction, so there is that. If you're excited for this video, though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright, so, Virgil is right here. Let's go ahead, uh, Nick is going to hate that we're about to do this, but... Let's go ahead and quick save right here because we're probably going to have to reload a couple times. Alright, Virgil's Rifle does 50% more damage against Super Mutants. Pretty useless effect to be honest, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Let's see if we get it first try. Nope. So now it's time to load. Watch me accidentally quick save. Dude, that would suck so bad. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Nice. Sorry, buddy, but you no longer have any ammo. Uh, yeah. I probably should have just dismissed him. He's still my companion, though, right? Yep. All right. Come on, Nicky boy. Let's go ahead and fast travel. I think we have to go... Pick a faction now, if I'm... If I remember correctly. I already know which faction I'm going with, uh, for now. Hold on, let me make sure that's what, yep, alright. So let's go ahead to the point where we get the maximum, you know, ability to like do the most missions or whatever. You have to side initially with the Minutemen. You can switch at any time, to be honest, like which faction you want to work with to to finish this game. I almost gave a spoiler, although probably 99% of the people watching this video probably knows what's going to happen eventually in this game anyways. But just for that small, you know, 1% chance uh, an individual ha uh, doesn't know the story of Fallout 4, I'm not going to ruin it. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk to Prestonian. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey there. What do you need, General? What do you need, General? So, I got this signal interceptor that I need to be built. Any idea where I could get this from? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? Uh, they have my son? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. You don't say. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? It's magic. <laughs> it's a molecular relay. Did you know the Institute has a teleporter? They call it the molecular relay. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. Duh. If anyone can make heads or tells of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Yes, ma'am. All right. So now we need to go talk to Sturgis, which he's back this at Sanctuary. Freedom. You know what? Whoops. First things first. Let's go ahead and change clothes. We'll put there. that on. That on. Hey, that's it, right? Let me see. Yep, looking sexy as always. Whoops, wrong button. Let's go over to the map now. Now we'll go definitely over to Sturgis up in Sanctuary Hills. This is going to be fun. To say the least.
Red scorpions look pretty sick, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Kind of creepy, actually. Can you imagine what a mutated spider would look like? Dude, I would have a heart attack, man. Like, legit. Sturgis, where you at, bro? Wait, what? Oh, he's working on power armor, that's why. Hey, you! Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Uh... Can you build this? Do you think you can build this? Wow. What a mess. Oh. Looks like, uh... Encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. <laughs> you sure it's for real? Nope. Uh, yeah, of course it's real. It's real. I got it from an ex-institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Uh, do you have a parts list? Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, there's one on the roof. Probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. All odds and ends in this one. If you say so. All right. So, special, we're gonna need this right here. So, let's stay, let's build the stabilize. All, we, all it was was aluminum, circuitry, and steel. Alright, let's go talk to Sturgis. Come here, homeboy. Hey, Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? As a matter of fact, I did. Uh, here you go. Yeah, ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. <clears throat> okay. Luckily for you, we're already here. But thank you, though. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this... It all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the building site because now we got to build three more things it look like. Maybe four. So special. All right, we're going to need that. 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 Uh, I guess that's it. Now we just need to connect everything. Uh, all right. You know what? I'm just going to build another one. Generators. Screw it. We'll just put it right there. Crap. He's already found his spot. So we'll just put this right over here then, I suppose. Uh, miscellaneous uh, co uh, connectors and switches. Alright, we'll do this right here like this. Legit, I don't know why I decided to do it that way, but it's done. Look at that. That looks badass, dude. Wow. Would you take a look at this? That looks badass, dude. I almost forgot how sick this looks. Let's go. 
Sturgis, I need to talk to you, buddy. On my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Um, test first? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice. That code we've got is useless. Yeah, it makes sense. Let's do this. You sure? Nope. Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an Institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Cool. Oh, God. Let's do this. I don't blame you. What's going on? All right. So far, so good. Maybe. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Sounds now, good. This holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh -oh. What was that? Uh, oh no, that's yeah, not we good. Hurry. I don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh, uh, just there for decoration. Uh, okay. Sturgis, I don't like this. Scanning for the Institute signal, tracking RF. Oh God. And got it. Hold on to your butt. I can't hold my butt. Dun dun dun. The molecular level. Nice. What's in here? Scissors and a folder. Folders. Hello. Stim pack. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Thank you. I'm known as Father. Mother? Okay. Under my guidance. I know why you're do you? I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Uh, give me one second, all right? Uh, load holotape. What is it called again? Sturgis holotape, I think? Might be Sturgis holotape. I'm not sure. No. Okay. Um... Where is this? Network scanner, that's what it is. <clears throat> Initiate network scan. Downloading, 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 scan complete. Nice. Give this holotape back to Sturgis. Well, let's go back in here because there was another holotape in there. Oh, I guess not. Alright, fuck it, let's go. Step into this elevator of ours. Let's get our gun ready just in case this father man wants to get froggy. I can only imagine what you've heard. Shut up, dude. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Uh, if you say so. Welcome to the Institute. Gasp! This place looks technologically advanced. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. Congratulations. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. 
Yep. You are here for your son. Good. Give my son, asshole. I think this is it, actually. Let's get my gun out. Sean? Is that you? Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Uh... I'm looking for Sean, you. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Uh... I'm your dad, buddy. Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? No, relax, dude. I'm your I'm your father. Yes, it's me. Your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Uh... Let me... Open the door, buddy. Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Uh, relax. Just open... Actually, no, just open the door. Sean, open the door. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? He's freaking out. Father, help me! Who are you? Sean. S923 recall code Cirrus. Gasp! What happened? Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Mother, tracking. Welcome to the Institute. Uh... Give me my son. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Um, where's my son? I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. Complicated you have how? Very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. I didn't mean to do that. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am. Gasp! Your son. Bullshit. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? Sixty? Oh my god. Reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Uh, you were stolen, dude. They stole you. Kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Uh. So they needed human specimens, is what you're saying. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. 
That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking. Yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. That's why they call the him mother. Synths, me, and you. Um, so you were here the whole time? And you, you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Uh, what about this Kellogg guy? Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Wow. So you used him, basically. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Uh, what about so the you're Institute? in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Uh... Uh, they're scared of you. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Well, Ultimately, that's true. the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? What about your mother? Your mother? She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Are you serious, dude? Collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often, but... That's true. What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. 
that your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Um, for now, we'll say yes. Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Um. Uh, is it worth it? I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Um, okay. So let's go upstairs then and we'll make our way out of here. I think it's this way. Alright, good. There we go. Alright, let's go meet... Actually, you know what? Yeah, for now, let's go meet everybody. Screw it. Speaking of the devil, there's one right here. Hold on. Do I even have it activated? No, institutionalized. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Uh. Thanks again. Of course. Okay. Our technology must hey, you come back here. Advanced by your standards. Doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Uh, I mean, I just wanted to find my son. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Um... Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. No, absolutely. Uh, first of all, who built all of this? Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and build increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Uh, if you say so, hey, I'm not done with Dr. you. Fillmore. Hey, what do you need? Uh, division personnel? I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. 
Dr. Lawrence Hicks is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Why do you keep walking away from me? Oh. I'm not done with you. What's on your mind? Well, you mentioned power. A place like this definitely needs a lot of power. How do you work around that? It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. That sounds weird. Well, I mean, we've already exercised our stuff, so let's go find the next person. Uh, we'll do bioscience last. All right, let's go here first. Synth retention. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Sure. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office. This place is pretty interesting, man, to say the least, to be honest. There's so much cool stuff that goes on here. Get out of my way. Hello. Hey, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. Makes I'm sense. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Uh, you don't trust me? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. Yay. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions. Mike on. Whoops. Mike off. Think My bad. I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Um... Kind of like a secret police. Police. So basically, you're the secret police. Secret police? If that's a pre-war reference, then I'm afraid it's lost on me. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered yeah, fact, sorry about that. <laughs> I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Um, I mean, I was in the military, so I have a little bit of combat experience. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Corsair should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. No, I, I, uh... So why are you acting head of the SRB? If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. Hey, that's He's a familiar name. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. You in mean in the Capital absence, Wasteland? I keep things running smoothly. Why Justin, do you keep walking away from me? Want, and please make it quick. Uh, what about the training that your coursers go through? You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Okay. Dr. Ayo. Yes, what is it? What about your synth reclamation process? I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. 
We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Oh, okay then. Let's go. I think we have two more places. We have uh, Bioscience, of course, and then we have the Blue Place. I forgot what it's called. All this stuff is pretty interesting, man. It's, it's To say the least, they are still evil identified but they have good reasoning in my opinion all right advanced sciences or systems i wonder who we could find here perhaps somebody from fallout 3 but you never know All right, sliding door. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Oh, okay. Hello, Madison Lee. Excuse hey, me. I know you. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. I know who you are. Well, I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here. I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. She was the doctor that helped your dad out in fallout 3 she lived in uh rivet city but anyways uh yeah no worries man i won't get in your way don't worry i promise i won't get in your way thank you i do appreciate that you're oh, welcome before i forget let me see that pit boy of yours i've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you father's orders you're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the institute at will um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Still not sure why. Unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Makes no sense. Uh, but anyways, is everything okay? Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry. I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. No, get your Dr. ass over Lee. here. Uh, I would like to know more about your division. Can you tell me about the people in your division? I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Okay. Dr. Lee. Uh, do you have a progress report for me? I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. <laughs> Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Sure, why not? Okay, well, that's it for her. I hate that it's cutting off a little bit. Like, they're trying to walk away for some reason. It's pretty... It's kind of annoying, actually. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know. It is what it is. Alright, let's see. Get out of my way, you synth. Now we should just only have bioscience. Uh, yes, it has been. Anyways, let's go. Institute Bioscience. This place looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I don't know why. I just like it. All right, where are you at? Reports on Batch Two Seven Four. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that Warwick. Going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to 10 years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. And 
Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Isaac seems a little sympathetic. Humanity's future is taking root right here. If you say so, Clayton. Welcome. So good to have you here. Hi, Dr. Holdren. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Uh, what work is it? Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing, actually. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Uh, I mean, I'd like to. I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, do you need any help? Is there anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. No, wait. Dr. Holdren. Good to see you again. Did you need something? Uh, what about the synth gorillas? Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Makes sense. Will you Wait. stop walking Anything away from me, damn it? One more question. Who does medical care around here? You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Sounds I'll good. I promise you that. Well, thank you, Mr. Holdren. All right. Uh, there's still a couple things that we need to do here in the Institute. One thing is actually here in the Bioscience Division. So, there's that. But we're going to definitely do that in the next video. Uh, for now, we're going to call it a video, of course. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, or if you enjoyed this video in general, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.